Welcome to Only Connect, the quiz where contestants have to find hidden connections between clues so random and incongruent they could be the ingredients of a Findus lasagna. Obviously, the ingredients of a Findus lasagna aren't random and incongruent. It's all horse. It's not all horse. I'm sure our lawyers would like me to point out that was a long time ago. The procedures have changed. It was never all horse. The ingredients of a Findus lasagna are exactly as they should be. So if you want to eat one, giddy up. Tonight's teams are on my right. Richard Bradley, a software engineer with a degree in maths who has reverse engineered a PlayStation game to add extra levels. Zoe Cunningham, a managing director and competitive backgammon player who was once falsely accused of appearing in a film with Katie Holmes. And their captain, David Simons, a software consultant and fitness enthusiast who has sprinted through London Zoo naked, painted as a tiger. United by a passion for programming, they are the coders, how does a career in coding help a team prepare for Only Connect? So a lot of the work that we do involves picking up vague requirements from our customers, trying to find patterns and common themes through them, and then making it so simple a computer could do it. So hopefully that will put us in good stead for tonight. You are facing, on my left, Philip Drnoshek Zorko, a Cambridge University student who's followed on Twitter by the President of Slovenia. James Robson, a trainee teacher who can read up to a thousand pages of text in six hours. And their captain, Frederick Heath Wren, a cryptic crossword enthusiast who's played ping pong in a salt mine and once saw a spoon used by Lenin. United by a gift for gaming, they are the games masters. So Frederick, your team favours the more recreational side of gaming. How does playing computer games help you prepare for this quiz? Well, we feel that Only Connect is a lot like a computer game because there's a lot of puzzles. And if you don't solve them in time, monsters come out of the floor and kill you. Like a computer game. Let's see if it is. We can't find out without playing the quiz. Let's start with round one. What is the connection between four apparently random clues? Coders, you won the toss. You're going first. So, David, which hieroglyph would you like? Uh, can we have the two reads, please? Two reads will be the first question of this particular quiz. The first clue is coming in now. Uh, Next, please. There was a children's card game with like big. Oh, well, there's. Sophia, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't quite work. There's also been shows of doctors and neighbours. Doctors and soaps. I think yeah. we should yeah. go. Next, please. Friends. There yeah. we go. So they um, the shows. When pluralised, they make TV shows. Yeah, okay. When pluralised, they make TV shows. You didn't need the last clue. Spook. You can add an S to make a TV show. Coming in after three clues, you get two points. Games Masters, your choice. Um, twisted Flax, please. More properly known as the Wick of Twisted Flax. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Okay, oh, just next. 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 Something is there, some sport in Richmond yes. School 155. Um, I mean, 300 is the maximum building, but I mean, that's completely. Yeah, that's Do you want to go next? I think so. Uh, next. 27 down. Okay, um, I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know. Could it be just next? Next, please. Oh, that's dots. Yeah, that is dots. So it's the aim of the thing you want to get in a game. Three seconds. Are they the best possible results in sports? Yes, I'll accept that answer. They'd be known as perfect games. The third one isn't exactly a result. What are we looking at? Uh, 501 in 9 is darts. 300 is a perfect game of bowling. 300 would be 12 strikes and 10 pin bowling, yeah. Um, 155? I mean, it's not... Snooker or some sort of... I mean, snooker is 147. Yeah. Oh, no, I think it is a break in snooker where you can theoretically get bonus points for something. In snooker, it would be a 147 break if just before that your opponent had fouled. Oh. Yes. Yeah. And that third one, do you know what that is? 27 up, 27 down? I don't think like we do. professional stare. <laughs> <laughs> it's baseball. Oh. It's when three batters are out in each of nine oh. innings oh, yeah, and none yeah. of them have reached first base. Mm -hmm. Then the pitchers have had a perfect game. 
So highest possible scores or perfect games is the answer for one point. Coders, your turn to choose a question. Can we have a lion question, please? You certainly may. Ah, the music <laughs> question. You may be sorry you asked. <laughs> OK, you'll be hearing these clues. Something connects them and I want to know what it is. The time starts now. My friends don't come around me. Some kind of jazz. <laughs> Do you know it? Do you think you'll get it? Next, please. Just we close come on, this, is, this is one of these that everyone knows. It is, isn't it? Oh, I'll take that. Oh, yeah, it is. It's a shine. It's a shine. Next, please. Uh, red Hot Chili Peppers, Under the Bridge. Yeah, Next, please. Oh, that's car games. Yeah. Um, they all contain card games in their title. The answer is card games in the name. What did we hear? So, Under the Bridge. Fantastic. Under um, the Bridge by... Red Hot Chili Peppers. Mm -hmm. Poker Face by Lady Gaga. Yeah. We thought we heard Shine, but probably not. What, take that? Yeah. Patience oh. was the take that yeah. track. And did you not know the first one? No. Did you know it over there? No. Ray Charles Blackjack. But they all contain the names of card games. Very well done. That's a point to you. And back to the Games Masters for a choice. Uh, Horned Viper. The Horned Viper. These are going to be picture clues. What's the connection between them? Here's the first. Is that a kind of picture of the little match girl or something? Oh, like Next. I don't recognise that, I'm afraid. Yeah. Next. Um, that's... It's definitely a band. I don't know who. Uh, next. Uh, that's the people from Little Britain. I get the names. What their names? I don't know. What, what, I mean, it's a girl band. What, what girl band are they? All Saints. Um, I don't think it's All Saints. Um, Three seconds. Are they all found on the tube map? They are not all found on the tube map. That's a nice quizzy sort of guess. I suppose they might have been, but it doesn't apply to these. So, coders, you got the chance of a bonus point. Um, they are called Florence. Well, one of them is called Florence. No. Or members called Florence. No, I, Florence in the last clue would be one of the characters in Little Britain. But no, you recognise Little Britain. The first image is from the frontispiece of the 1857 edition of Charles Dickens's Little Dorrit. Hey. Second one, Jane Horrocks as the title character in the film Little Voice. Do you want to have a go at who the girl band might be now? It's Little Mix. Little Mix. Little Dorrit, Little Voice, Little Mix and Little Britain, all known as Little Something. No points there. Coders, you have the last choice of the round. Um, water, please. Water. OK. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Faces. The, yeah. the jacks have different eyes. Yeah, I've got a funny feeling that they have different weapons, and I think one of them has a beard. Next. next, please. Mascots the Olympic. Yeah. They have funny eyes as well, don't they? Oh, uh, no. They, they've got one eye. They've only got one yeah. eye. Yeah, that's what I guess. Yeah. They only have one eye. They only have or had one eye. You didn't need to see the last giveaway clue a darning needle. What can you tell me about uh, what you're looking at? So, when Locker Mandeville were the mascots for the 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games. That's right. Uh, the Jack of Hearts has one eye. That's right. Which other jack has one eye? The other red one. No, it's not. It's a jack <laughs> of spades. It? Oh. It's oh, the yeah. major suits, the one-eyed jacks that sometimes people use as wild cards. And what about that first one? I think it's in a poem, uh, an old Victorian poem about Timbuktu. I can't remember the name. Though. Katmandu. There's a one-eyed yellow yeah. idol to the north of Katmandu. It's the 1911 poem by J. Milton Hayes, sometimes misattributed to Kipling, but actually That's it's right. rather a parody of Kipling. Right. Very well done. You get two points again. <laughs> And Games Masters, the last question of the round, the Eye of Horus. Only one eye. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. I don't know this, the Frog Chorus by Paul McCartney and Wings. Next. Next. Um, oh, it's the frogs. It's because that's what the frogs say, the frogs. Yeah. Frogs. Coming in after two clues, you get three points. They are all said by frogs. We all stand together, Paul McCartney and the Frog Chorus. Didn't need to see It's Not Easy Being Green, Old Kermit and the traditional Ribbit. 
but you notice it at the second clue. What's that? Um, it's what it's the onomatopoeia for the what frogs say in Frogs by Aristophanes. That's right. Brekekekex, quacks, quacks, Aristophanes the frogs. Well done. At the end of round one, the Games Masters have four points, the coders have five. <laughs> round two is the sequences round. There are still four clues and a connection between them, but they come sequentially, and the fourth clue is hidden from the contestants because I want to know what it is. Coders, you'll be going first this time. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Can I have the Eye of Horus, please? Yes, you can. I would like to know what comes fourth in this sequence. Here's the first. Next, please. OK. Universe. So, it's galaxy, universe, the obvious one would be like multiverse they're getting or something. bigger, yeah. Or it could be some kind of pop culture uh, use of these. Yeah. As I say, it's not just sizes. Uh, next, please. <laughs> everything for all time. What's bigger than everything? It, it, in less time. Time. You could say multiverse, but do you want to put on? I don't recognise this. I've got a funny feeling it's going to be some pop culture yeah, reference. Yeah, 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 I think it is. Um, Three seconds. Multiverse. Not the answer, I'm afraid. That would be nice. That's the kind of thing when you're a child, you put as your address, don't you? Keep adding things. Multiverse, you might get to, but that's not a proper sequence by our standards. So, Games Masters, you've got the chance of a bonus point. We think it's fish. The answer is fish, and why is that? They're the last words in the titles of books from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series. That's right. They're the first four books in Douglas Adams' trilogy. The last words in the titles, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, The Restaurant at the End of the Universe, Life, the Universe and Everything, and then it would be so long and thanks for all the fish. It's actually a five-part trilogy. Do you know what the harmless. fifth book's called? And mostly mostly harmless. harmless. And then there's the one written by Owen Colfer, which is And Another Thing. That's absolutely right. A sixth book written by somebody else after yeah. Douglas Adams died. Well done. You get the bonus point. Which hieroglyph would you like next? Two reads, please. Two reads. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Next. Oh, um, uh, it's an L O O N. No, no, no. Because it, it's Belfast, Cardiff, yes. Edinburgh. So yeah, it'd be with that, 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 right? With that, is it? Without the middle yeah. Loon. The answer is Loon. And why is that? They're the uh, four capitals of the United Kingdom, but only the first two and last two letters in population order, presumably. Just alphabetical order. Oh. Uh -huh. They are gutted names of UK capitals in alphabetical order. Well, I say UK capitals. This is at time of recording. By the time we broadcast, the vote may have happened. Who knows? But at time of recording, these are the UK capital cities in alphabetical order with their middles taken out. Well spotted. Coders, your turn. The water, please. The water. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Then it. She could have three faces. <laughs> that, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, next, please. Better talk, two, two faces. There's only one face. Look at this. Um, yourself, because you only have one face. I was hoping to hear an Ekmuki Rudrak bead, but I will accept <laughs> me. And uh, you're absolutely right. It's to do with the number of faces. What can you tell me about the clues you're looking at? So, Mount Rushmore has four faces, the kind of four uh, people that have most shaped mm -hmm. American, modern America. Um, a chess clock has two faces, one for each player. We're mm -hmm. not sure about Eve, presumably she You could probably faces. guess the film was actually called The Three Faces of Eve. So, four faces, three and two, I wanted to hear something that has one face, you know, for example, the bead that could represent Lord Shiva, the Ekmuki Rudraksh bead, but you said me and that's fine too. Well done. Games Masters, your turn for a choice. Uh, twisted Flax. The Twisted Flax, these are going to be picture clues. What would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Next. Arrows. So, bow, 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 arrow. Right. Um, where's that going? Um, should we next? Yeah. Uh, next. Like a spear? Spear. 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 Come next. 
Oh, is it, is it the quote about the um, walls being fought with those yeah, arrows? Yeah, that's the yeah. result. Um, um, nuclear bombs or something? Yeah. Chemicals? Um, Three seconds. Is it nuclear bombs? <laughs> it so incredibly isn't. So there's a bonus chance for the coders. A chariot. A chariot of fire. A chariot of fire. Now, the, the picture might look a bit like a nuclear explosion, but it represents a chariot <laughs> of fire. And why is that? These are the things that you have to bring me in the song Jerusalem. That's right, in Blake's Jerusalem. It, it's a song now. Originally, it was the preface to Milton, his poem Milton. But in Jerusalem, as we know it, we sing, Bring me my bow of burning gold, my arrows of desire. Bring me my spear, O clouds unfold. Bring me my chariot of fire, things that must be brought in the poem Jerusalem. So you get the bonus point and you get the last choice of the round. Uh, the lion, please. The lion. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Uh, next, please. Don't hear anyone. Yeah. I don't hear the ears. No. Next, please. Three seconds. Um, 2013, Sydney, Sussex. I would say that's not quite as wrong as a nuclear bomb in the last <laughs> question, but it's very much not right. So, Games Masters, your chance for a bonus now. 2014, Cameron Clegg. As what? I've taken a year <laughs> and I've put some names after it. That's us to teach him. Well, given that the connection is that they are royal dress designers, let me tell you that <laughs> Cameron and Clegg, I mean, that's a dress I'd like to see. I wanted to hear 2011 Sarah Burton for the House of McQueen. They are dress designers. In 1947, Norman Hartnell designed the dress for Her Majesty the Queen, then Princess Elizabeth. 1981, David and Elizabeth Emmanuel designed a dress for... Diana, perhaps? Lady Diana Spencer, that was the next royal wedding. And in 2005, Camilla Parker Bowles wore Robinson Valentine. Sarah Burton designed for Kate Middleton. They are designers of wedding dresses for future monarchs coming sequentially. Games Masters, one question remains the Horde Viper. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Okay, okay, next. Next. Is it the date they joined the New Mexico well, should we just do next and go for the other one? I suppose we could. Also, it might be completely different, so go next. Yeah. Next. So, York. York. Probably in, like, age yeah. order. Can't be anything else. Yeah, it's up here. York. The answer is York, and why? They're the four American states that begin with new in some Alphabetical order. Alphabetical order. It's alphabetical order again. They are the American states that can be prefaced with new. There are only four of them. And fourth in the sequence would be York. Well done. At the end of round two, the Games Masters have nine points. The coders have eight. <laughs> Time for the connecting wall, a jumble of 16 clues that the teams must sort into four connected groups of four. There will be red herrings that come into more than one category, but there's only one perfect solution. So, Games Masters, you'll be going first this time. Would you like lion or water? Um, lion, please. OK, you have two and a half minutes to solve the lion wall, starting now. Right, so there's... Um, um, il, il, or e, the yes. Oh, yes. Lion, oh, and e. And, and D as well. D. OK, so um, it's travel from it. The soup dragons are a band, as are the mock turtles, as are the pastels. Uh, I don't know what, what? the last... Oh, the smells, yeah, obviously, they're only bands from that sort of time. And okay. the last. Can you do okay. them? Um, I think there might be where, when, who and what, and obviously it will be Yeah, where, where... Um, Remember, it's three strikes yeah. and you're out. You've got plenty of time. Caterpillar. Oh, characters from Alice in Wonderland. Yes, okay, so... So who are they? Mock okay. Turtle, Caterpillar, are, Dodo okay. and Pat, is yeah. that right? Yes, hang on. Articles. Uh, articles. Um, Specifically, aren't they all the... Yes, they are. The, yeah, they're the articles. When you put an S, when they start with a D, the, and you put an S on the end, you they become bands. sort of jangly okay. pop bands. Okay. Where, who, when, what, homophones for question words, and then it's uh, someone on the end. Yes. I wish yeah. Where? Well, that's it. You've solved the wall. Too much trouble.
That's four points immediately for the groups. Right. I'll give you more points for the connections. Now, what about the first group, starting with Y? They're all the in foreign languages. I'll oh, accept it. Can you be more specific? Il, Il and L are going to be in like Italian and Spanish. Mm -hmm. and, e. and E is Portuguese, maybe? So it's er uh, and it's Welsh. Ah. Oh. So actually European languages. European languages. They're all yes, words for the in European languages. Oh, yeah. And the green group starting soup dragon. You, so they're all if you put a the like the start and an S on the end, they're all bands and they have a sort of similar aesthetic. I think jangle pop you might call it. You I think that people that. generally call it indie, indie music. And what about the pink group starting where or where? Um, they're all question words. They're homophones of question words. Uh, where, when, who, and what. And I, why is oh, yes. so oh, that? Oh, yes. Yeah. That's what why was. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Where, when, who, and what, and why could have been in it. It's interrogative pronouns, right. is what you'd say. They're homophones for those. And the last blue group, starting with Mock Turtle. Um, they're all characters from the Alice in Wonderland books. That's right. They are characters in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Pat is a very obscure one. It's, it's the White Rabbit's Gardener. Oh, that is very obscure. <laughs> it doesn't do yes. much. I mean, yeah. uh, I, I'm very familiar with those books and I didn't remember okay. Pat. Quite yeah. an obscure character, but that's what they all are. Oh, so, nice. four points for the groups you found, four points for the connections, and an extra two points for getting it all right. That is the maximum of ten. Very Thank well you. done. Time to bring back the coders now and give them a new wall, 16 different clues, see if they can decode it using the exact same principles. You'll be getting the water wall, because the line's been taken. You have two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. OK, Karma Police is, is that? No. Um, Belle de Joy is a prostitute. OK. Um, uh, Banksy's an artist. Yeah, this is a stick of anonymous. We don't know who it is, as it's Banksy. Uh, OK. So yeah, maybe okay. Belle de Joy would be as well. Oh, um, yes. The yes, banker from Dale Nader. Yeah, OK, good. Is this, probably, is this, a, uh, is this a, an album or something? It could be Karma Police and similar. Creep oh, Karma Police, yes, maybe it's a red hit, maybe uh, something. Creep, yes. creep is no surprises. Creeps are maybe it's a single, it's definitely raw a song. Could be for sure. Nude, raw, raw, nude, raw. raw. They name names for being naked or. Um. Oh, yeah, good. Is there their name for being naked? I no don't surprises? Know. And what's Scud? No it isn't Scud. No, no surprises could definitely be naked. So, buff, no surprises, nude, and raw was the other one. Yeah. Okay, no. um, all together, in the all together. Oh, okay. yes, yeah. Did you think. Oh. Um, there, I there, think it's it? that one, that one. Okay, so, that so we've got five here, yeah. John, to do that. Um, so there's probably albums. I, f I think Creep was on YouTube, but I could, well, but I said Radiohead, but it sounds like these as well. I wonder if Deep Throat isn't on it. Yep. So it's not on anything. Plumbers, um, Mario and Luigi are the main characters in the Mario video games. Yes. But I can't see any. So uh, is there a radio game about the Karma Police? But probably not. Did we have um, songs that we had? No surprises in Creep. Um, yeah. What a um, minute. So you said. You said Did we do this one? Yeah. You said in the, in the all together, yeah. in yes. the nude, in the buff, yeah. in the in the there there, or not. In, the, in, the, in, the in the nice surprise, in the raw, raw in the scud. <laughs> um. Okay, let me try this. Yeah, you keep sure. going with the other ones. Um, so Buffy, Vampire Slayer, Creepy. Mm. No. Um, what could Deep Throat be? Oh, good three one. strikes and you're out now. Okay, so we think there's songs. So I think there's songs. So. Isn't it creep? Is it creep, no surprises. Karma police. Karma police. Okay. And then so expletive deleted. Oh, yeah. I think it's a song. Okay. So what's what are the others? You surely might as well start guessing. You've got ten okay. seconds. Yeah, let's yeah. discuss. Um, <laughs> that's it. You've used your three strikes and the time is up. But you found two groups, so that's two points. What about the connections? The blue group, the Stig, Belle de Jour, Banksy, the Banker. They're all anonymous. Their identities are hidden. That's it. The Stig from Top Gear, Belle de Jour, the writer, Banksy, the artist, and the banker from Deal or No Deal. Some people know who some of them are, but the idea is that they are hidden identities. And the green group, Scud, Buff, Altogether, Raw. Uh, terms for being naked or nudity. That's right. In the, added at the beginning, means naked. You weren't sure about Scud. It's a Scottish expression, in the Scud. You can also get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. Karma police, they're there, nude, no surprises. So... Songs, I think. Songs... Songs... by... Uh, it's the it's next Coldplay? word that's key. Um, Is it Coldplay? Coldplay. I'm afraid it's Radiohead. Radiohead. Singles Radiohead. by Radiohead. Creep 
creep is a red herring for that group, but its own group, creep, expletive deleted, deep throat plumbers. Uh, are they all films? I'm afraid they're not. Now, it's interesting, deep throat there is a red herring for the secret identities group, because, of course, most of us, when we hear deep throat, we think immediately of the Watergate scandal. These are all terms from Watergate. Creep is an acronym for Committee to Re-elect the President. Expletive deleted, that's the redacted transcripts they'd be taken out. Deep Throat was the whistleblower who was, was anonymous but revealed in 2005 to be Mark Felt. And Plumbers? Now you know it's Watergate, do you know? Um, were they in the office at the time discovered the break-in? It was a covert unit set up by Nixon. Yes, all terms connected with Watergate. But two points for the groups you found and two points for those connections. That is a total of four. Let's have a look at the scores going into the final round. The coders have 12 points. The games masters have 19. Time for round four, the missing vowels round. We've taken the vowels out of well-known names, phrases and sayings. We've squidged up the consonants and I want to know what are the disguised clues. They'll still come in connected groups of four, but I will tell the teams the connections before we start. Fingers on buzzers, teams. Remember, if you get anything wrong, even by a single letter, this time I will be taking points away, so be careful. The first group are all prosthetics. Masters? Glass eye. Correct. Masters? Wooden leg. Correct. Masters? Artificial heart. Yes, it is. Coders. Dentures. Correct. Next category, titles of TV shows that ask questions. Masters. Who do you think you are? Correct. Coders. Are you being served? That's right. Games Masters. Would I lie to you? Correct. James Masters. Whatever happened to the likely lads? Indeed. Next category, Glaswegians. Masters. Sir Alex Ferguson. That's right. Masters. Lorraine Kelly. Yes. Masters. Charles René McIntosh. Yes, it is. James Masters. John Barrowman. Goodness me. Next category, non-news items found in a newspaper. Games Masters. Sudoku. Yes. Coders. Classified. I'm afraid that's not the answer, Games Masters, do you know? No time for you to give me the answer, even if you know it, because the bell has gone for the end of the quiz. Looking at the final scores, the coders, who are a bit unlucky at the end there, finish with an otherwise excellent 13 points. But the winners, with 30 points, it's the Games Masters. Very well done. An almost frightening missing vowels round from you. An unlucky coders, but of course you will get another chance. We don't send anyone home after one episode, so you'll be playing again in another heat later on. Good luck with that. Join me next time when another set of quiz gladiators will fight to the death. And by fight to the death, I mean everyone stays friendly and the losers get a second chance. It's health and safety gone mad. Goodbye. <laughs>